So I'm Dave Leipold's um, community-based, or director for community-based studies for Better Together. Um, and I'll get to what more of that means a little bit later on. We're an organization that was essentially created because there's a growing public interest in how we govern ourselves here in St. Louis. We have a very fragmented government model compared to most cities. And there's no comprehensive studies or data available because of that fragmentation. And so we wanted to really be a catalyst for that. And as you see our mission there, we want to be grassroots about it too, because it's not just about providing the information for us, but also the discussion that occurs and that collaboration that comes from it. Um, and we'll get into that into a little bit more detail. But we really see ourselves as being a driver behind a transparent discussion and really a resource for that information. Um, as you can see, we're a, a catalyst for informed dialogue. And that really has its roots in the fact that this conversation has been going on for well over a century. But there hasn't been the information and database available for people to change other people's minds. You have to have information to have a dialogue that's going to convince people one way or another. And we believe that we're better together if we do that, along with the information, along with each other. If we have that discussion, that's going to be something that's going to drive our region and not simply an argument based on emotions and lacking facts. So in talking about our region, the big numbers are worth a look. We have 115 governments throughout St. Louis City and St. Louis County, and that just includes municipalities, fire districts, St. Louis City and St. Louis County. We spend uh, over $2 billion annually on municipal services. 1.6 billion comes from taxes. Those are worth a look. And the way we're going to do that is through community-based study. Um, and this is a different way of not only providing information, but recognizing that data is just one component, but the collaboration around it is really the key that drives a successful study. And these are the various different content experts we're going to go to. But most importantly, what's different about our study compared to an outside consultant coming in is our definition of a stakeholder. We believe that everybody in our community, the city and the county, should be a stakeholder, viewed as such, treated as such, and their input becomes part of our process just as much as it would be for the mayor, the county executive, civic leaders. Um, and the purpose behind this study is that data does only tell part of the story. The conversation around the data is also going to give us a different look into what we're doing as a region. It's also going to create that ownership and allow people to feel like they're part of digesting that data, looking at our region, and providing some analysis. Um, the six study topics that we've chosen are traditional municipal services. Um, we started with public finance, which we've released, and I'll show you a little bit of. But that was just comp compiling from all those different governments the different documents that show the debt and revenue and making things that are attainable, accessible, and available. And that's the biggest part of our process. Um, and then we approach each of these areas with four key questions. And those are the key questions we ask community leaders, neighborhood leaders, people who want to have a one-on-one -on -one discussion at their house and have coffee. Um, and they're all designed to really get it. What are we doing? and have an informed discussion around what we're doing, what we could do to improve, and really what are best practices, what do people like, what do they not like. Um, and at the end of each study, we produce a report. And that report is in the form of not just our presentation of the findings and the aggregate data, but every single source document we look at, any polling we see. Any information we use to produce this is available on our website, which is www.bettertogetherstl.com. And the reason we want to do that is we don't want to just have the information up there. We don't want, here, take it, this is ours. We want the discussion around it, but we also want people to fact check us. It's important to us that this information, if it is inaccurate in parts, is improved. And we think that by having 1.3 million eyes on that as opposed to just a couple is a way to do that. And this is an example of how we presented our data. We have the source material library, which you can uh, access everything that we've looked at and gotten information from. Any data we produce in a report, we footnote to a specific document and a specific page number. And as you can see, you can also search by the municipality, um, the document name. You can scroll through there and look at what you know, different municipalities are doing, what are best practices, who's doing something particularly well. Why aren't we all doing that as a region? Um, and that's a way we want people to improve this process and improve not just the data, but how we function. Um, we even have basic search terms, word clouds, anything we can do to make it digestible for people, because simply providing the massive amount of data to someone isn't making it available or accessible. 
Um, and so that's really the thing that we want to strive to do, is to make that accessible to someone who works a job and doesn't have the ability to, as a full-time job, track all of this down. Um, a component that goes along with the data is outreach. We want to do one-on-one -on -one meetings, coffee meetings, sponsored discussions. Anywhere and everywhere we can have someone's ear and attention, that's where we want to be because this data for so long has been difficult to obtain um, in terms of accessibility. You could always go get it, you could track it down, it would take hours to really compile all of it. But the biggest thing is we want them to have access to it with ease. Um, and in that transition from material that's just attainable or obtainable to accessible, you have to convince people of that. You have to kind of be a catalyst for that discussion, instigate the dialogue. And these are all the ways that we've done that through social media and driving all the traffic that we can um, to let people provide feedback, but also guide the discussion themselves. What do they see as the future of a region? What do they want? How can we get there together? And my time is up, but that's essentially how we got the name better together. We believe the data, the conversations together, and the improvements we can put into it are going to be what guides us. Great. Thank you very much.